Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be. And welcome to a post on what it takes to get blacklisted from various sites. You'd think I am a perfectly innocent, rational person who doesn't antagonize others to the extent that I should be blacklisted. But this is not the case when it comes to communities dominated by young physics students. They're very sensitive and very quick to, I don't know, to attack anyone who doesn't reinforce their belief system. So this is a post on how I've been blacklisted from various internet forums. For example, it started with Reddit. I was banned from every single Reddit forum in which I posted an answer to or I made a I would take an excerpt from my blog and then put a link to my blog at the end of it and it was always on topic and it wasn't an advertisement. It was really it, it fit the community guidelines. And I would make only one post, but because I tend to try to make people think about the lessons they're learning, to try to show those lessons in a different light, that made people uncomfortable and they, I, I, was, I was banned from each forum I posted in. So if you think my, the, the type of content I produce on Quora or here, that it's reasonable. I was really not posting anything very unreasonable, but in Quora, you have to be basically a member of the in-group and know exactly the sorts of things that the in-group says, and you're not allowed to challenge that in any way. Otherwise, they literally click you, click you out of their, their platform. They kick you out. And then I tried, I made all of these YouTube videos and that seemed to work relatively well, even though they haven't gotten very much distribution. I tried copying my videos to Vimeo and Twitch and although other people seem to have no trouble posting on Vimeo, I couldn't. That was really strange to discover. And for Twitch, a lot of times if you have content that you want to distribute, you can write to them and they can give you the appropriate account to post your videos. But they told me that if I wanted to post videos on their platform, I had to jump through a ridiculous number of hoops to do so. They basically told me no. So, and then after this, I, I'd been having some success in posting uh, links to my blog on a news aggregator called Y Combinator. And after I think hundreds of posts where I was getting lots of upvotes and I was doing, it seemed like people liked the content I was posting there, they just kicked me out. They didn't tell me I was kicked out. They just simply stopped distributing the links I put up there. So it was kind of like a shadow ban. And I wrote to them asking them why. And this was what they said. They said, yes, I'm afraid the account lost submission privileges for promotional posting. The content, while technical, seems not to have appealed very much to the community's curiosity. It has had more provocative effects than that. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's not a good fit for the site. So that was probably somebody complained and then the moderator just decided no trouble we don't want trouble we don't like people who cause people to think and so they just kicked me out and i'm posting science i was only posting my science content there and it is a um, a news aggregator for technical topics so it was perfectly appropriate for what they were trying to do and there were lots of other posts similar to what i was doing but I was kicked out because, you know, if you say anything that challenges someone's belief, they can get you kicked out. 
Now, I did, after a while, I wrote back to the moderator and I asked, could you reinstate my privileges? And they, they let me post again. So that's been going well again. But that still hasn't changed the fact that if you are posting scientific content and you have credentials, young people today on the internet have the power to very easily kick the teachers out of the classroom. And that's literally what's happening on all of these scientific education forums. If you are a teacher that makes a certain student have to think about things in a way that feels unfamiliar to them, you can get kicked out. It's really a strange environment. And I think we need to create some, I don't know, protected spaces for intellectual content. Because if the millennial inquisition determines what is true based on what they like, we are living in a very dark age, which could easily hide or destroy the propagation of information forward into the future that has in the past had no trouble getting sent forward. Okay, well, thank you for watching this. I encourage you to check out my other videos and click on the blog. There is, I think I have 160 posts by now and they are often on scientific concepts but they range in from philosophy to social commentary to all kinds of stuff and so I think you'll find something you find interesting and I encourage you to check out my books I have a couple of novels and a book of novelettes or short stories and I am almost done with a couple of pop science books that are, I think, unlike anything else you'll find out there. So please stay tuned.